All right, everyone. So we are out here in the middle of Mexico to see what this thing can do. And uh, I already saw what it could do. Okay, <laughs> that's why I'm so excited. We're in the tens, just driving out of the garage, driving down here, only at 72%. Uh, right now it's 70% of state of charge. Batteries were only about 103. I'll show you all of this. Running tens, okay? We are like in the tens with no prep. Uh, you know, you don't have to heat the tires. You don't have to go to a drag strip, nothing. This is insane to be able to run tens. Uh, how? How? All right. Well, we've seen, we've everybody kind of knows this, but this is the Tesla uh, Model 3 Performance 2024. So I guess that's what makes it a little bit different. But we know what, uh, like the Plaid, what the Ludacris, everything has been capable of. So uh, this is really something else. Uh, 0 to 60, 278, 278 with the one foot rollout. Okay, we, we got to include that. Not a hot day, not a cold day, a little humid. Uh, well, 76 degrees little humid so you know just average day oh so i'm gonna graph out go home got all the data i'm gonna graph this out now other people have been running uh way better times uh, i can't remember the guy's name but uh, learning fast he's run uh better times than i ever have uh i was trying to run some uh serious good times uh <laughs> have some serious good times uh to run some really good times uh with the car but uh and i did pretty well but yeah he was able to beat it I think his secret is the, the tires. He's got some efficient tires on there and uh, lighter wheels. And, uh, you know, I think maybe that's his secret sauce, but uh, who knows? Let's take a look at the data. Just 72% state of charge. All right, so here is the data that we're going to try to gather. Front power, rear power in kilowatts that can easily be converted to horsepower. However, front power, rear power on this is scan my Tesla, by the way. It only comes in like once per second, so I'm not sure what we're going to get out of that. Torque, however, we do get a lot of values for torque, so that should be good. And then, uh, you know, we're going to need speed. And we've got RPM, and then we've got battery power. If we don't get uh, front power, rear power good enough, which, like I said, I, I don't think we are, but it'll be just good to track it anyway, the battery power overall should uh, that, that comes in, I don't remember how many values we get, but we get way more than the uh, once per second values there. And that's not going to be 100% accurate because that's the overall battery power. Uh, battery power, though, is going to include everything. So whatever the car is running, well, not everything it's running, you know, screens and everything runs off a of 12 volt power, but the the battery might be trying to charge a 12 volt. Um, you know, I've got the AC and everything like that off. So nothing else is, is really running, so it, it, it should be close. And with big horsepower numbers, um, you know, like right now, I think it showed half a kilowatt. So 500 watts just kind of idling here. I don't expect it to be much more than that, so that's not, uh, that's not drastic. So uh, what we're going to find out is what kind of horsepower, what kind of torque this thing makes just every day. So I didn't preheat the batteries. Um, I, 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 there's, there's really nothing else going on here. I've got a draggy, so we'll be getting zero to 60 quarter mile and a, a bunch of stuff in between. Okay. So that's it. So, uh, let's, let's get on with it. All right, so let's take a look at the data here. We've got two lines. Uh, one is the torque in green. The other is the horsepower in blue. What is actually uh, the, the first thing that, that struck me here, and um, by the way, torque, uh, right now this is in uh, pound feet of torque. Uh, I do have data here for Newton meters. We are at pretty much zero speed, under one mile an hour. Let me slide this over. This is basically under one mile an hour. We are uh, already at about 53 pound feet of torque. That is insane. Anyway, so rapid rise in torque and uh, we get a little bit of a, a bump here to um, 
13 or so foot pounds of torque it, it kind of settles in so these if you can see these small lines here small horizontal lines 20 40 60 80 so these are in increments of 20 so between 400 and 420 pound feet of torque until uh you know 44 or so miles an hour and then um, it starts dropping off and uh, drops off pretty rapidly and then you see the horsepower though horsepower hits its peak at about also 44 miles an hour and stays between uh 560 and 580 horsepower I mean that is a massive amount of horsepower that is obviously the both of the motors combined this was measured by getting the total output of the battery in kilowatts and converting that to horsepower so that then uh, brings in um, um, a caveat in that it would be like saying your motor horsepower this isn't horsepower at the wheels however with that said the loss you know losses that you need to account for uh, typically on a, on a ice car would be drivetrain and um you know a number of factors like that well you still you still have some drivetrain losses here in an electric car but they are much less on the order of a total of maybe five percent are numbers that uh, that i hear all the time uh, of course, those efficiencies change at different RPMs, but let's go with 5%. So I did not take that into account here. I did not knock off 5%. So uh, just keep that in mind. Also, uh, because it's total battery output, there may be other things that that battery is doing. However, I don't think it could be much. Um, as I said in the beginning of the video, when I was sitting there at idle, it was using about 500 watts, so, you know, half a kilowatt. Unless the 12 volt battery needed to be charged or something, I don't know what else that battery would really be doing that would cause a major loss or be using those kilowatts for anything else but driving those motors. So I we're not far off here at all, I don't think. Um, but anyway, I, I did want to mention that. So yeah, horsepower, you know, at about 40 or so miles an hour. And if we scroll down here, um, this is some other data we're going to take a look at here in a little bit. But we can see, you know, numbers wise at about 40 miles an hour, we're hitting our, you know, we're in the 560 or so horsepower and we stay between 560 and 500 and a little bit over 570. Yeah, here we have some 571s until we hit about 80, 81 mile an hour, miles an hour. And, uh, you know, then it, it starts dropping off. It doesn't drop off nearly as quick as the torque does. And I, I could probably find a well, I could find a peak horsepower in there and uh, 575. So I'm finding 575 peak horsepower. Oh, and then also this is, uh, you know, again, covered this all in the beginning of the video. This is at 72% state of charge. Batteries were at about 103 degrees Fahrenheit. So there was no prep in the car here at all. If we were to heat the batteries up, if we were to charge them higher, we would see higher horsepower numbers. And we'll get into that uh, a little bit more in that, that other graph that uh, we took a peek at. Yeah, you can see then uh, this goes all the way to, uh, you know, a little bit over 130, 131 miles an hour. And even at that speed, you know, we are at 440 horsepower. That is amazing. I mean, it, it, it is crazy. So uh, this is how we are able to run tens and if you were to compare this i probably should have put a comparison up here of horsepower in a typical ice car uh you know you typically don't see this amount of horsepower and and maybe i'm wrong maybe i'm wrong i might i've been looking at these graphs for so long but i remember them peaking a little bit more and dropping off more horsepower in in an ice car but i i, I could be wrong there but this is this is remarkable so now let's do a comparison with somebody uh you know again uh, i mentioned him before uh, learning fast he ran his car in the same manner he just has uh horsepower Oh, and again, this was used with Scan My Tesla, and I think Learning Fast was using the Test Logic screen and app, and you know they sell a whole a whole setup for this car. He was able to get this information. This I was able to run a 1098, 
And I just wanted to show again, 72% state of charge, uh, no prep, anything like that. What kind of horsepower can we expect? Fairly average state of charge. Maybe it's a little bit on the high end, uh, but I think it gives a better idea than when we go out and try to supercharge the car to 100%. We're trying to get the batteries super hot. Uh, you know, we're cutting weight out of the car and everything else and trying to run our best times, even though the horsepower wouldn't change uh, with, with dropping weight. But that would give us, you know, peak numbers. Whereas this is, I think, a little bit more uh, representative of an average Tesla Model 3 performance when you're going out there and just kind of driving daily. Okay, so here, uh, remarkably, this is when, it, it, I'm kind of recalling uh, what he did here, but this is just about his quickest time and uh, I, I know he ran quicker but i think that would only involve a dropping weight so i don't think he would necessarily get more horsepower out of this not positive though potentially there could be some more if his batteries weren't warmed up to the ideal temperatures actually i i think i, I think there is i think there is a little bit more room here so to give you an idea 627 horsepower you know, versus the 570. 60 more horsepower from charge and better temperatures. It 60 horsepower is a lot. So uh, there we see the graph there too. And, you know, again, this is going to be similar in terms of 40 miles an hour. We go up, we see that little peak there, uh, just like on mine. And then things start dropping off at, at about 80 miles an hour. You can see things start dropping off here. And then he also goes to about uh, 130 and then uh, if we get more closer to what I was running here, he ran a 1096, I ran a 1098. Uh, the mile an hour is almost identical. I can't remember if I ran, I think I ran maybe 123. He's got 124, uh, 571 horsepower, which is uh, pretty much right on what I was able to, what we just saw with mine. You know, it also starts fading off. It seems like it maybe fades off a little bit sooner. And, uh, you know, that's what we get. Uh, he did not have torque values. And then, yeah, here are then 2022 numbers. And we can see this where even if you have, in this 1125 also, that's a really good time. This is, he, he prepped for this one almost certainly. But as you can see, it dropped off way quicker. You're uh, zero to 60 here, uh, which is that zero to 60 very quickly. But then you just, you can feel this too when you're in the car, feel the, the drop off in power much more uh, quickly than you do with this Model 3 performance. It, this, this new car is amazing. And also, uh, by the way, when I rented a Tesla Plaid, I mean, I can't believe how long the power stays on. It just seemingly doesn't ever want to stop, and especially in the, the plaid you're dealing with such higher horsepower numbers, it's hard to tell the difference between, uh, you know, 900 and 1,000 horsepower. <laughs> Your brain is, can't keep up. Uh, but then we look too here. This, I'm sure, this is, uh, you know, less voltage, less charge. In other words, maybe less temperature. He only had uh, 576 horsepower, and then it, it drops off even sooner. So this is the massive difference between new and old Model 3 performance. It's crazy. You know, this area under the curve here you, you, it is that is a massive difference uh, i'll put a link to a video where um, i raced my new 2024 against my 2018 uh, with acceleration boost and the 2018 had i believe close to a 90 i believe a 90 percent state of charge my 2024 only had maybe a 75 percent state of charge and the new 24 performance just it just walks away from it I mean, it looks, it, it just looks silly. And this is why, you know, it's just because maybe they would keep up till 60, but then it just, this this horsepower difference here is is just massive. Two, I did call up a dyno place around here, just one, and they said that they would have issues running an electric car. And one of the biggest issues really is the, the RPMs. I, I think here you're at like one mile an hour and you're getting 400 foot, pounds of, foot pounds of torque pound feet of torque, the dyno just kind of doesn't know what to do with that. And when they do even get cars to run on certain dynos, electric cars, they don't really get numbers until a little bit later, like maybe 40 miles an hour or so. And then I think if I remember correctly, some of the videos I watched, 
the higher the speed too, it everything just kind of it just wasn't working out well. It the numbers start getting kind of weird, and they're only able to give you a, a little bit of a, a slice of the this whole picture here. Uh, so I think that these charts here that uh, we're putting together. I think these are kind of like the new dino charts. Anyway, guys, thank you uh, very much for watching. If you stuck through to the end here, uh, please uh, like my videos, subscribe. It really helps me out. Uh, thanks, guys, very much.